Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a thrift haul and if you've been following my channel for a while you know that my husband and I have recently refinished our attic and we made it into a master bedroom. So the goal of thrifting over the past several weeks and really over like the past month has been for me to find items that I can use upstairs. Now I already had a lot of items that I had collected over the past few years, pieces that I really liked but I didn't really have a place for. I wanted to save them for like the perfect project and I feel like I finally have like the perfect space to put them in. So I already have some items that I'll be furnishing upstairs with. I'm so excited that I was able to find some other pieces that I can use upstairs and I kind of have like a color palette sort of going for the project. I shared some of it in a Dollar Tree haul that I recently shared with you guys and I've also been sharing some of the ideas that I have for like the color palette and like the decor upstairs on my Instagram. So if you would like to see more of what I'm working on in like real time, definitely follow me on Instagram. I love sharing pictures and I also love sharing Insta stories of things I find at the thrift store or things that I'm inspired by. So as I said, this haul is mostly going to be home decor. I do have some other items that I'm just gonna pop in there as well. So let's just jump right into the haul. I think I'm gonna start with the items that aren't home decor related. The first thing I would like to share with you is this really, really cute like portfolio. I think that's what you would consider this because it's like a briefcase. I saw it from across the thrift store and I thought it was really cool. It was $7.99 half off. So on the front it has these two handles which kind of like go back down in which is kind of cool like if I wanted to just carry it like this and I think the zipper is really cool it's like this gold uh, color and so when you open it it is like a portfolio on the inside and I thought this would be really cool for like carrying my computer. If I needed to go somewhere to work on some different projects, I could definitely bring my laptop with me in here. Obviously it doesn't really have room for the the like charger, but if I had it fully charged, it wouldn't really be a problem. I thought for four, for four bucks, you couldn't go wrong. I thought that was a pretty good price. So the next things I would like to share with you are more like summer items. I'm just getting excited for warm weather and picnics and having family get togethers. So I picked up some of these like plate holders. I I don't know the exact name of them, but pretty much you put your paper plate in here so that it's not quite as flimsy. Um, so I picked up two packs of these, and I want to say there are six in each pack. Yep, there are six in each pack, so definitely enough for a family get together. Um, and I just thought, I think these are really cool. And I feel like they were in fashion and they kind of went out of fashion, and now they're like back in fashion that like woven type look so I've been wanting to get some of those for family get-togethers um, so it just kind of worked out that I found them today at the thrift store the next thing I would like to share with you is this washi dispenser I think that's so cool I haven't seen anything like this uh, let's see if there's a picture of it on the side so this is how it looks it'll put you can choose different washies and you could just put them on here um, and it'll become like tape like a tape dispenser and then in the middle it has like a spot where you can stack all of them so another really exciting thing that will be happening is once we finish moving everything upstairs the room that was our master bedroom is going to become my like YouTube slash crafting space which I'm so excited I'm excited but I feel like I have so many projects going on at the same time so it's kind of overwhelming but like I'm having a good time with it and it just so happens that right now when everything when we're moving everything is my spring break so it just happened at the perfect time um, so that we don't have to stress so that I don't have to stress out too much about moving that and school and everything I'm excited to have this because I plan on using this in that space so I'm no longer collecting washi I have plenty of it on hand um, I'm not gonna get rid of any of it because I do use it sometimes what I'm thinking I could do is I could display some of my washi on maybe like on my crafting table um, and then change it out seasonally I thought that could be really cool like just a little added piece of decor um, so yeah that's kind of what it looks like right there and I'm pretty excited um, it was only $3.99 so um, yellow was not half off today so it was four dollars but I still think that's a pretty good deal now we have some home decor finally so if you've been following the whole process of us uh, finishing our attic and restyling everything then you know I'm kind of going for like a natural kind of vibe to upstairs um, I'm just trying to incorporate some like greenery and some baskets and like wood and different types of like natural vibes so I'm sort of trying to find things that are like earthy looking to finish the space so the first thing I would like to share with you is this basket now it's not exactly the color I would want it to be at this point but I was thinking I could definitely just spray paint it and um, change the color a bit but I really like the pattern I think it's really pretty I like the woven pattern in it and um, it's pretty like substantial like it definitely feels like pretty sturdy so this was three dollars and half off so I'm pretty excited about the next things I would like to share with you I found these little 
jars. Aren't these the coolest? I love the color of these. I found three of them. It's like this like dark brownish color and they are made of glass and I have some DIYs planned with this. I just think the color is really pretty and they were 99 cents a piece so that made them actually 50 cents a piece. So I'm also inspired by like bronze and kind of like goldish colors and this next thing, not 100% sure what I want to do with it but I think it's pretty cool. Look at this. It's like this really cool candelabra. It can go like this, straight like that. You can turn it so it's like that. I was thinking of probably using this for parties or for like holidays, but I also just think it's really beautiful. I'm wondering if it's actually missing one. Do you see the, like the space right there? I'm wondering if it's actually missing a smaller one or if it's supposed to be up like that. I really don't know, but the metal is so beautiful. This thing is so heavy. I'm just really excited to set it up and to use it. I just think it's super pretty. It reminds me of um, Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast, but um, I'm really excited to have this. It was $7 and half off. This next thing actually isn't for upstairs, it's for uh, the kitchen. I feel like I've been seeing these like milk juice containers a lot recently. I think this thing is really cool. I like how it has the spout right there and it has like the the like little bumps on the side. I don't know what that's called. Um, and it even has a spot for like a handle if you can kind of see it, like for your hand to go. Um, I just thought this could be really nice for like brunch. It was $1.99 and it was half off. I know that they usually come with lids, but this one unfortunately didn't have one, but I think that's okay. So I think this is pretty and um, I'm excited to be able to use it for some parties very soon, hopefully. So the next thing I would like to share with you for the upstairs space is this really pretty um, clear and gold vase. I think this is so pretty and I just, I really like the different style of it. It almost looks like something like in a, a science lab. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I really like the gold striping on it. I just think that makes it really cool and like fun. And so I picked this up for $4.99 half off basket. It was $3.99 half off. And the only thing, I think I shared this on Instagram, the only thing I'm not in love with is the handle color. Um, it's probably okay, but it's just not like my favorite. So I picked this up. I thought this was cool. Look at the pattern in it. Isn't that so pretty? I really like that. It's really substantial. Like you're not gonna have to worry about it falling apart. There's, it's woven around metal. So it definitely has like some good structure to it. I may or may not paint this. It just depends on how involved it would be. Okay, so everything else I would like to share with you is outside in the breezeway. So I'm going to take you guys outside and show you what I found. Okay, so this first piece that I would like to share with you, I wasn't really sold on at first. And I really thought when I saw it that I wanted to use it in my classroom. Um, it's this really cool like magazine book stand. It just has like this really cool shape to it. Um, it's larger than any magazine or book stand that I've seen before. And if you get a little closer, um, it has like a ledge here, one there, and then a big one in the bottom. And I just thought that was really cool. Um, obviously, it needs to be cleaned. That's dirt on the bottom, I'm pretty sure. But the wood looks pretty good. I also like how like the bar has like the little lines in it. I just think that's, that's cool. Um, but the thing that I really love about it is, let me show you. Dun, da, da, da. It has two sides to it, exactly the same. So what I was thinking about doing is, I thought that I could even place it like this in between, um, I have two like West Elm chairs upstairs. I thought I could even place it like that in between the two chairs and then this side could be Sean's side and then this side could be my side. So I just thought that was a really cool find. It was only $4.99 so I thought that was a pretty good deal and I was thinking it could just be like a cool like bookshelf almost. You know, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it and I'll let you, I'll definitely let you guys know how it cleans up. I don't plan on painting it. I just plan on like really cleaning it up, maybe giving it some like polish or something. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. I do think it could also go in my classroom, but I don't know. For now, I'm going to try it in the house. And the last thing I would like to share with you is this plant. I'm really excited about this. I have no idea what kind of plant it is. Right now, it's kind of like tied up so I'm gonna take it apart and we can kind of figure that out together so I'm going to kind of untie it and see what we have here all right so here we go it has a lot of things around the top wires and stuff it's interesting looking so it has like a fuzzy base to it I don't know if you guys can see like down there it's like almost looks like coconut like the skin of a coconut Whoever did Tied this up did a pretty good job. 
Uh, what I'm thinking is that, I'm thinking that it's broken, and that's why somebody donated it. Because it has bands around the bottom and bands around a couple other parts, kind of keeping it together. I'm thinking that it's actually broken. Huh, I think it's actually pretty cool. I'm not really crazy about the bottom of it, so I actually got this base at Dollar Tree and I plan on spray painting it white. I just kind of want to see how it looks. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. And I was thinking I could just fill the rest of it up like at the bottom with something else. Still don't know what it is, but it'll work in our space. And for only $9.99, I think that was a pretty good deal.